Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So what you're looking at there is a circle with what is supposed to be a diameter. So I guess I just drew it a little. I should have drawn it there, but it doesn't matter. Let's pretend that this is a diameter, okay? So how do we arrive at parallel lines? Well, we take something called a compass like that. It's actually a divider, okay? Set it to a fixed width, okay? Hmm, looks like a cone, doesn't it? Okay, then we place one point there and with the same width, mark off a point on each circumference. <clears throat> then <clears throat> all we do is we join those points with a, with a ruler or a straight edge. And guess what? We've constructed parallel lines. That's what it means. And that's how you construct parallel lines. Okay, so no other textbook in the history of humanity has shown you how to construct parallel lines from nothing but a geometric object called a circle. Okay. <clears throat> parallel lines are not something mysterious whereby you're looking at <clears throat> two objects that never meet. That's just very ethereal. But this here is practical. It tells you that these two lines here are parallel. And you can understand why. Because the distance between them, the, the perpendicular distance between them, is always the same. And the reason for that is that the circle is a symmetric object and we can very easily construct any parallel line we like, okay? Doesn't matter how. All we do is just take a bigger arc like that. Make sense? Okay, so I was the first to show how you could construct or how you could arrive at the five requirements of Euclid from scratch. No other idiotic history or mathematics textbook ever showed you that. Moreover, they didn't believe it could be done. And so because the idiots didn't know about how to do this, they called them axioms. And then the 40 Ludites, the 40 Bourbaki Ludites came along and just made matters a lot worse. If you're not a raised subscriber, click like, follow me on academia.edu. And remember to join my members only channel where you can learn more about the works of Archimedes, Apollonius, and other brilliant Greek mathematicians who, for whom there is no comparison today, except perhaps I. I'm John Gabriel. This is a new calculus channel. Goodbye.